Breaking news, guys. River State crisis worsened. <laughs> Walter don't, don't pass Gary. I beg. Welcome back to Prospect Channels TV. If you are just joining us for the first time, please kindly subscribe to this channel. And don't forget to give us a thumbs up. The Federal High Court in Abuja on Monday voided and set aside the presentation and the passage of River State 2024 budget by a group of four member legislators in the state. The court, in a judgment delivered by Justice James Omotoso, ordered the governor of the state, Fubora, to represent the budget to to represent the the budget to the legally constituted House of Assembly under the Speaker Martin. James Omotosu crushed the withholding of the House of Assembly fund on the ground, declaring that he has no constitutional power to do so. The court restrained Governor Fubora from frustrating the House of Assembly under Martin from sitting or interfering in the affairs of the House. The redeployment of the clerk and the deputy clerk done by the governor was declared null and void and was set aside. The inspector general of police was ordered to immediately give adequate security to the speaker and legislatives uh, loyal to the former governor, Yeson Wike. Justice Omatosu ordered the, the clerk and the deputy clerk to resume office immediately and unhindered. The National Assembly was also bound from taking over the River State's House of Assembly or accepting or treating any request from Governor Fubora. Governor Fubora was ordered to release all money standing in the credit of the House of Assembly to Martin. To Martin. Okay. Daily Post report that all the issues in this put were resolved in favor of Mwike's loyalists. Meanwhile, a fresh political crisis seems to be brewing in uh, River State following the heavy insults rained on Governor Semi Fubora by the chairman of the Query Local Government Area of the state, Samuel Wanosike. In a viral video posted on his official X handle, the council chairman, who was addressing his supporters, accused Fubora of being naive. The Daily Post recalls that Fubora and his presidential, who is currently the Minister of the Federal Capital Territory, FCT, yes, on week, he fell out in the 2023 over a battle of supremacy in the state. The local government chairman, who is loyal to Nwike, alleged that Fubora had not achieved anything as governor of the state since he took over the mantle of leadership from Wiki on May 29, 2023. He said any day the likes of Chibuike sent by Fubora insult Wiki, how he insult Fubora. So today, Fubora is a foolish governor. Hmm. He's not a mumu governor, but a foolish governor because since he took office in May 29, he has done nothing for reverse people. The chairman further maintained that the allegation that Mwike wanted the pocket to pocket River State is far from the truth. Saying Fubora is very naive and does not know what governance is all about. If he knows what governance is all about, by now he would have been vis visiting River State by the local government. Go and look at Igirata roundabout by Igirata Market, by uh, Eleke Round, Dead Trap. You can't move. Kidnapping everywhere in River State, and you say you are a governor. Hmm. I think this is getting out of hand. No matter what, the chairman has no right to insult the governor. Even if you feel that you have your, you know, someone who is backing you, at the federal level, he has no right to insult the governor, calling the governor foolish man and momo 
and whatever. Equally local government chairman, do you know that you are a fool someone is asking? Worshipping a very stupid ex-governor, currently minister of FCT, with high degree of insecurity. Even when he assumes office, Ikwere people are too selfish. They don't want development in other parts of the state. Mr. Chairman, you <laughs> I beg so many insults. Okay? They, I can't take that again. These are reactions. It's a reckless statement and it's very unfortunate. For the local government chairman to be quoted saying you compulsorily uh, or statement against a sitting government or a sitting, a sitting governor, he meant to say. If you are talking about kidnapping, kidnapping is in everywhere now. It's going rampant, even in Abuja. So we have to be very careful what we say. The, the kidnapping did not start you know, in this man's tenor. Like as I said, no matter what, who you are believing in or whatever, he has no right to insult the governor, to call the, uh, co coming out to call the governor's names. This is really very bad though. They say leaders, now na good example they're supposed to, be, you know, to the show. But our leaders, they are, they are very reckless. They talk in fact, let me not just say this one again. Make it not be like, say, I don't still talk. They don't think before they say something. You understand? You just talk recklessly. It doesn't matter. And we have forgotten that people are listening to you. As a leader, you have to show good example. That is why you, you are a leader. Because people are looking up to you. People want to be like you. People want to emulate you. But in Nigeria today, which of the... Uh, the political leaders, do you want to emulate? Is it by corruption or by deceiving Nigerians? They will talk this one today. Tomorrow you will see them do something different. This is, 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 is not good at all. So guys, let's hear from you. What's your take on this? Kindly share your thoughts below the comment section. If you are just joining us for the first time, I beg, subscribe to this channel. And don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Thank you.